Hey guys, Chris from Pro Bowl Bees Audio Installation, and today we're doing front speakers on a 2007 FJ Cruiser. On this install, we're going to show you how to replace the factory 6x9 mid range that's in the door, as well as a tweeter up in the dash. So to get started, the first thing that we need to do is get this door panel off so we can replace that mid range. Now there's two screws as well as a little clip here on the side. For the clip, you just press the center in. It pops in just barely, and then the whole clip actually just comes right on out, just like that. So you pop it in, and then it comes out as a whole piece. And then when you're ready to pop it back in, you just pop the pin back out in the opposite direction, reinsert the clip, and then press that so it's flush. Next thing here, you're gonna have a little door and a little door here. You can see the little place to get a little screwdriver in there. When you do that, we'll open up a spot to insert a Phillips. Now at this point, there's no more screws. I usually grab the bottom right hand corner. Like so. Now as we pull this back, you can pop this out. White goes on the top, green goes on the bottom. Just remember that. But you can pop these cables out. Just like that. And then you'll have a harness down below. Go ahead and disconnect your harness. Now if it's easier to get to it from the other side, you can pop that out. Just relieve the clips on the top. Push in the little tab and it comes free. Now you'll notice that some of these clips stayed in the door, that's fine. Just go ahead and give yourself some, some pliers and just work them out so you can put them back in the door. Okay, so we have our 6x9 here in the door. Go ahead and disconnect your harness. Just push in the tab and then give it a pull. Just like that. Now you can either use a 10 millimeter or a Phillips to remove these. They're not in very tight. There we are. Let's go ahead into the, to the bench and get our 6x9 replacement adapter with our 6.5 inch speaker mounted in our factory location. This video is sponsored by NVX Audio, your location for high quality car audio components. Use coupon code PBAI to get 10% off your purchase. Okay, so here at the bench, the parts that we're going to need for the front speaker install. We're going to go ahead and use the NVX VSP65KRT component speaker set. This is a 6.5 inch component set that comes with these mid-range speakers, tweeters, and crossovers, along with miscellaneous hardware. We're going to use these in the front doors, and so to make them work in the factory location, we've also picked up these speaker bracket adapters. These are the Metra 82-8147, which converts a 6x9 uh, factory speaker size to a 5 and a quarter or 6 and a half inch aftermarket speaker size. And this nice thing is this will bolt right into the factory location using the factory mounting bolts. Now, since we're not using five and a quarter inch speakers and instead using six and a half, we're going to go ahead and remove these inner tabs, which generally accommodate the five and a quarters. Now, for our tweeters, to put them in the factory location, we've picked up these ABS tweeter um, adapter brackets as well. Uh, we'll post in the description where we picked these up on Amazon, um, but these have two inch hole cutouts which allow us to flush mount our NVX tweeters that come with our um, component speaker set. These tweeters will mount right into these adapters and these adapters bolt right to the factory location. Now, these uh, component speakers also come with crossovers, multiple places where you can wire these in. Um, ultimately, your input from your radio or your amplifier will go in here and then you'll have an output for your mid-range right here, and then an output for your tweeter, which is right here. 
And so you'll have to be strategic where you mount these. In our application today, we've decided to actually mount these inside the car underneath the front seat next to our amplifier, just because we're running a four channel amplifier and uh, it'll be a lot easier to, to hide those up under the seat instead of trying to mount them inside the door panel. Finally here for our wiring needs, to make it things a lot easier for us, we're gonna go with the Metro 72-8104 wiring harness adapters for the doors. These wiring harness adapters plug into the factory harness plug, the metal end in the door, and then this end will actually correspond with our terminals here on the back of our mini range. They'll just directly plug right into those ports. This eliminates the need for any uh, uh, testing, pull, checking polarity, even risking and getting your polarity backwards. So first thing we're gonna do here is go ahead and mount up our mid ranges in our adapters here. We're gonna get our tweeters mounted in our brackets and we're gonna go ahead and find the location where we wanna mount our crossovers underneath the seat. Now, uh, we'll show you our wiring configuration. Every car will differ depending on how you wanna set up your system here, um, but we'll show you how we do ours. All right, so we got our speaker all mounted up as you saw there on the bench. Let's go ahead and get this reinstalled here. Reconnect our harness here. All right, once you verify that everything's working properly, go ahead and reinstall the door panel. Okay, at this point, let's go ahead and change your camera view to the dash so you can see us replace the tweeter. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to try to show you this tweeter here. Um, this whole grill comes on out and the easiest way to get started here is if you kind of get a screwdriver and like just start forcing up one side. What that's gonna allow you to do is get started then you finish off with the panel tool. There we go, all four clips. Just take your time, that comes on out. And that's gonna expose your tweeter mounted in a metal bracket. So using a 10 mil, we're actually gonna pull just the whole bracket out. I'm gonna grab the whole tweeter and we're gonna disconnect the factory harness tuck that back in okay all right so we have our factory tweeter and bracket what we're going to do is remove it out of the housing here tell 10 millimeter now we're going to get our aftermarket one right in its same location here Okay, there we go. Now, two different ways you can wire up your tweeter. If your tweeter has a passive crossover built onto it, then you can actually cut out this harness here from the factory and do positive and negative and wire that up to your tweeter so your tweeter can plug in through the factory wiring. Ours does not. Um, we actually have to run our own um, crossover, which we're gonna do under the passenger front seat. So. Um, this will just actually be wired. We're going to run our own wire from our crossover to this tweeter. But again, if your tweeter already has a built-in passive crossover on the back of your aftermarket one, then you can actually just cut this harness off, wire in your new speaker to this harness, and then this harness will plug right back into the factory location. So what we're going to do at this point is head over to the car and get this reinstalled. And we're actually going to wire up our own wire from our crossover to this tweeter.
All right, so we are on our own speaker wire, and again, we have our crossovers up underneath the passenger seat and ran our own tweeter line. But again, if you had your own passive crossover on the tweeter, then you can just connect directly into the harness there that's supplied by Toyota. So we got our positive and negative hooked up since we're running our own, and basically what this will do, we're gonna bolt that into the factory location, make sure we aim our tweeter there, um, just so it's uh, the way we want it. We'll get it all bolted down and put the cover back over. Okay, Twitter's all in, all bolted down. Let's go ahead and grab our speaker cover. Just like that. Let's go ahead and give it a test. That's about it for the uh, install today on this front component set. If you have any questions about what we did here, go ahead and post a comment below. Thanks guys for watching the channel. We appreciate your support. If you want to see more on this FJ Cruiser, we have um, a few other videos, especially the four channel amplifier install video, which will show how we wired our component crossovers um, up underneath the seat. So if you want to have a little bit more context on how we did our crossovers, check the description. We'll have a link down below. We'll also have a card up top. Thanks again for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.